What's good guys, OBF back here, back of course with another Vans review. Today I got a pair of Takahashi slip-ons, of course from the latest Vans Vault and Takahashi collection. These guys dropped about two weeks ago now, series of six different shoes, two different silhouettes. Here I have the Slip-on 66LX, colorway on these is leather, nubuck, golden brown, and harvest gold. These are size 13, retail on these was $120. This being from a newer series, of course we do get a different color box, which I'm always excited about, it's always something different. This time around we have this brown two-tone color combo. You got that milk chocolate making up the shell of the box with the dark chocolate for the drawer. Nice brass ring on there. Same trim that we typically see on these Takahashi boxes, nothing different there. Uh, just nice little details throughout the box. We also get a different dust bag this time around, which is actually a pretty sweet one. Nice checkerboard pattern with your small Takahashi feather graphic in there. Uh, the back side is pretty much the same exact thing, and you got a black drawstring on that. This was definitely one of the better Takahashi releases, in my opinion. Uh, one of the better ones in a while, actually. Uh, the two different silhouettes to drop in this collection was the Slip-On 66, as well as the Skate School. I, I think that's what it was called. Can't quite remember. Um, I have picked up that model in the past. But I think the majority of the shoes in this collection were definitely fire. Uh, made it a very difficult decision on uh, which shoe to get. So I landed on these, the brown ones. I figured it was probably the the easier one to wear, I guess, between the slip-ons. Uh, the rose color was definitely a, uh, a very nice uh, color combination, but I think the rose would have been a little bit harder to rock. Nevertheless, I definitely want to have those in my collection as well, so uh, that will probably be the next pickup. But yeah, here we have this beautiful two-tone brownish gold colored slip-on here. Uh, two different variations. You have the golden brown making up the toe box here in the new buck, as well as this little strip on the heel. And then you have that harvest gold color making up the quarter panels here. This harvest gold color is the color that kind of threw me off on these. It was... Um, a little bit different. I think especially blending with this golden brown, it's not a color you see very often. And I wasn't sure how these are gonna look in person, but I gotta say they're pretty close to the actual uh, pictures, like promo pics. Kinda has like a peanut butter vibe to it, like a creamy peanut butter or even like a honey color, I don't know. But it's, it's definitely something unique. Has a very slight greenish tint to it, kinda like a pea soup. But it works really well with that brown. I'm actually really digging these. Uh, as far as quality goes on these materials, of course, you're only going to see top-notch materials making up these designs, being that it's a Takahashi shoe. This is just the most buttery new buck I've ever felt. It's just super soft. You can even just see how supple this is uh, pressing down on it. And like I said, that new buck also lines the heel portion here. Uh, the leather is also pretty spot on. It's nice and soft. Not as soft as the leather on the collar here on the interior. This one um, also pretty premium. Definitely very comfortable on feet. You have uh, some other brown accents throughout. So you got the Vans flag on the side and a slightly different shade of brown. We have this new Takahashi um, design here on the underside of the flag there. It just says TH and it's got a tiny little feather emblem in there, which is pretty crazy. Uh, nice little details on that one for sure. The midsole, I believe is just a white. I don't think it's off white, but it could just be bad lighting. As far as the piping goes around this uh, tongue piece here, this is gonna be also in that new buck material. Onto the heel, we have these little embossed logos here. 
which I believe are like suns or definitely resemble suns. And then you got this strange little embroidered piece here with these little waves on the back in a chocolate brown color. I'm pretty sure this means something. Uh, I have no idea what I wish I knew of the suns with these little waves. It probably tells a story, uh, but I haven't seen any info on that. Of course, you have your Takayashi heel tab on the back, also in that white color. Uh, that's pretty much it for the outer portion of the shoe. Oh, uh, moving on to the outsole here. We see this sundial, or not sundial, but the sun ray design once again. We saw this on those uh, those chukkas from last year. Uh, definitely a really cool concept, and I really do like the colors that he chose for this. You got the white, some more of that brown. Um, this is kind of like a really dark gum, brownish color. The other colorway that Rose slip on definitely had a nice uh, choice of colors on the bottom as well. There was also a white slip on, which honestly I feel like is going to be flying under the radar because it's a fairly simple looking shoe as far as color choices go. But I mean, if you guys are looking for white slip ons with a little bit of pop on it, I definitely recommend those ones. Uh, one thing that I was a little bit bummed on which I actually found out after purchasing these, was that the fit on these is not an OG slip-on fit. So it's been a while since we've seen a pair of regular classic slip-ons in a, uh, I guess in a vault format. I think the last time I remember it was with the Wish collaboration. There was those green ones. I'm not the biggest fan of the fit on a regular slip, at least like as far as the vamp coming up a little bit higher. It really doesn't look as great on feet. So I was a little disappointed once I found that out. Um, and I was really anxious to try these on. They don't look that bad on feet. I still do love this shoe. I mean, this colorway is amazing. The little details on it, every, every piece of this shoe is just beautiful. But yeah, the fact that it's not an OG slip kind of bugs me. And let me show you guys what I'm talking about here. Um, comparing it with a regular OG slip, you can really tell the difference. These were the last ones that I picked up. Uh, you can see the length on this tongue right here on the left, the Takayashi one, definitely a lot longer than the, the orange ones here. So it's about maybe an inch difference. Comes up quite a bit. So on feet, you can definitely see the difference. But still, an amazing shoe, um, especially the qualities and materials. On the interior, we do see more of this brown color that kind of matches that flag. And of course, you got your white accents on that insole. Canvas lines pretty much the entire interior of the shoe. Not including, of course, this leather um, padding on the insole, or on the inside of the shoe. It does have like that Widow's Peak style, which we've been seeing quite a bit with the Takayashi releases. A very clean shoe. Still very happy about this pickup. Uh, the Skate School, the brown one. I gotta say, that shoe is just beautiful. I really would love to have that in the collection as well. I was very impressed with the navy and that light gray colorway that came out with the last Takahashi collection. I think that was a shoe that a lot of people slept on. Kind of like a deconstructed skate high with an ollie pad. Uh, just a, an amazing shoe and uh, definitely one that I hope to pick up by the end of this year. But yeah, there you have it. This is the Slip-On 66 LX. As far as I know, this is the very first time that the 66 uh, has made it into the Vans, I guess, catalog. And as far as I'm concerned, it's probably just the way the materials are on the heel here, like this strip along the backside. Uh, I think that's what makes it the 66. But yeah, definitely a sweet shoe. 120, not a bad price considering materials. You guys can find these at uh, pretty much any Takayashi vault dealer. So. Uh, get them while you can. I know the rose ones will definitely go first and then these brown ones shortly after, I'm sure. Hope you guys enjoy the review and as always, be sure to stay tuned for the on feet.